All right, so today we are playing some Genji Dawn of the Sam Samurai. I, uh, like so many of these games that I play on here, have no idea what this game is or what it's about. I picked it up for pretty cheap from a game shop not too far from where I live, and I never got around to trying it out. So now we will. Looks like we have a little intro cutscene in, right here in the beginning. Battle between Genji led by and Heishi led by someone was won by Heishi. Very fancy. Looks pretty cool. I don't even know what kind of game this is, like if it's a real-time action game, or if it's turn-based, or uh, like the... Oh, what are them other games called? They did like Hyrule Warriors, the series that's based off of. I can never remember the name of them. I don't know if it's like that, maybe? I have no clue. The intro cutscene here looks pretty good, though. I'll give them that. Alright, so is that all the introduction we get? Just, uh, these two dudes are fighting each other, and now you need to destroy the Heishi army? I'm assuming? Maybe we're part of the other clan, or maybe now they're coming to attack our clan. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. We're just trying to stop that Emperor, the Heishi armor, or armor, <laughs> Emperor, from taking over all of Japan. Oh man, people from all, all over Japan here coming together, huh? Very cool. Let me guess, that's us, right? We're that single young man. It's gonna take down the the big bad. It's gotta be us. Pretty mad if it's not us. <laughs> we're just we're just forced to watch for the entire game as some other dude goes around taking down this guy. We're just a third party in all of it. <laughs> Could you imagine if they did do a game like that? Set up this epic story and all that. Tell you about this one great warrior who saved the world or whatever. And then you're just like his underling that brings him swords and coffees and rubs his feet and whatnot. <laughs> oh man. That'd be terrible. I'm going to take a wild guess here. Uh, I think we are playing as a character named Genji. I'm just guessing. I could be completely wrong on that, but... <laughs> Chapter 1, Kyoto. Cool. Okay. So, we're actually getting into the game now? Hopefully. We don't need too much exposition at the beginning there. We can, uh, we can piece it together through gameplay. Maybe. Although it is very pretty, man. They did a good job with the FMVs, considering, you know, PS2 game and all that. Credit where credit is due, you know? Man, 
Man, that dude got jumps. I wish I could jump like that. Jump on top of a building like that, man. That'd be awesome. Says warriors are just as corrupt as the leader is. Big surprise. Alright. Surely this will be our intro to combat, right? Yes! Okay. Well, the game doesn't look nearly as good as the cutscenes. Big surprise. I did see on the back of the box, this is one of the PlayStation 2 games that actually makes use of the pressure sensitivity on the uh, face buttons, which is pretty cool. I didn't actually read the manual though, so I don't know in what way it takes use or makes use of the, uh, the pressure sensitivity, but it does though. <laughs> it could be that different combos are triggered with different pressures. Um, maybe you do harder attacks if you press harder. I, I have no idea, but it does use the pressure sensitivity somehow. And uh, the game may or may not end us end up telling us more about that. I guess we'll find out. Hey, Nate, what's up? Thank you for being here, man. Appreciate you joining the stream. And uh, I hope you're excited to see some Genji here. I know I am. I've been interested, actually, in the game since I picked it up. It was another bargain bin game I mentioned quickly earlier. Um, but yeah, it was a, I only paid $4 for it. So, real cheap game that I picked up. And it looked pretty decent from the box art here. I've never heard of it, though. But from the, you know, minute of gameplay that we've got to do so far, it looks to be a kind of action-adventure-esque game. Which is right up my alley. I, I love those sorts of games. Oi, back. Hmm. I'm enjoying a nice protein shake for lunch, trying to wake myself up a little bit, because that's why I was late. I'm just freaking tired today. But I'm hoping uh, a little bit of this protein shake will help out. It's uh, We have some pie that's been in the freezer from Thanksgiving. A uh, banana cream pie. Just like one of them store-bought ones that you buy frozen or whatever. And so I took half a slice of that, put it down in the blender with uh, some protein powder, a little bit of unsweetened almond milk, and a single Oreo just for a bit of, uh, bit of chocolatey goodness, you know, mixed in there. And then, of course, a little bit of peanut butter, just because even though I'm not a huge fan of peanut butter, I find that it works really well with protein shakes. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty, pretty good, man. I don't know how well it's going to help me up, but it's definitely filling me up, though. Alright, so I can see that, like, there is a combo meter, and we're getting... It's up in the top right corner. There's some sort of bar that's filling up. But so far, all I really know is square hits people. <laughs> okay, so the, the bar in the top right seems to be... Has something to do with how many hits we get without being hit. I think. Oh, okay. These guys are still spawning in. I was hoping we could take a second to kind of figure out some of the combos and controls or whatever. But not yet, I guess. Alright, so triangle seems to lunge forward and do an attack, yeah. What's circle? Circle is nothing that I can tell. X is jump. Doesn't look to be a double jump. And... Oh, okay, so that's some sort of special move. R1's block. L2's nothing, R2's nothing that I can tell. Now, we leveled up. Does that mean that we can, like, put some skill points in or something? Let's see here. We got items. Of course, we got the herb that we just picked up, which does something. I think health. Yeah, restores 80 health. And then a talisman of protection. Talisman that disperses all calamities and misfortunes. Instant recovery from calamities. Very cool. We can assign... Ah, quick menu. Nice. So we can assign to the arrow keys. And then we got some key items there as well. Equipment. So different armor, weapons, and things that we can pick up. But of course, we haven't got any of that yet. And then this is us, right? So we can... Requires three pieces. We can level up our health, attack, and defense by collecting pieces of something, it looks like. But it doesn't appear like we can just level ourselves up directly as we gain experience or anything like that button configuration this should tell us 
So, the L1, that's that special attack thing. System screen status. Defense and observation. Triangle, okay, that's a special attack. Circles, investigate. Okay, very cool. Oh, nope, didn't want to go back to settings. We, we looked at the settings, we're done looking at the settings. We want to return to the game, please. Okay, so he jumped down there, but can we go on the other side of this? Nope, okay. <laughs> we can clearly jump over it, but the game doesn't want us going there, so we shall not go there. Oh, cool, we can climb stuff, though. Potion of power, potion which increases muscle strength. Attack power is increased temporarily. Very cool. Uh, so we can kind of like, we can kind of like wall jump. Kind of, yeah, we got to press X again to actually do it. I like that we, we don't fall off of ledges unless we jump off of them. That's nice. Save your game here. Save progress. Yeah, of course, we'll go ahead and throw down a save. This is another one of those games, just for anybody out there, if they do decide to try it out, that does not seem to work with third-party memory cards. Before the stream started, I had to swap out my very large third-party one that I generally use for one of my official ones. The cage tree has toppled over to form a roadblock. It looks too heavy for you to move. I mean, you can very clearly jump over it. You just jumped up the side of a mountain a moment ago. But yeah, sure, whatever. A little tree's in the way. <laughs> I'm assuming it's just going to keep saying the same thing with these. Yeah, okay. But what about this? This is different. It's an old landmark that must have been put up by a passerby long ago. Can I break it? <laughs> kind of a dick move. But yeah, we can just, we can just smash it. That's fine. All right, so it's a fixed angle camera, which uh, a lot of people probably know by now with me that I actually quite like fixed angle cameras. Um, I think they work really well, especially back on like the PS2 and whatnot. Okay, this section here though is a little confusing when that camera angle changes. Like fixed angled cameras are very nice. I think it allows them to add more detail to worlds. Because um, they know where the player is going to be looking at, so they can make sure to add extra detail to that area and kind of uh, pay special attention to it and whatnot. But if they don't set up the camera angle camera angles properly, then it can lead to some confusion. Like whenever we passed under that gate there, for instance, the way the camera suddenly changed made it very difficult to tell which direction we were supposed to be going. And doesn't this look like a chest or a box or something? I can't break it open. Oh, I can't press circle. I, I The thingy didn't appear, so. Sword made of iron, a common sword distributed to low-ranking soldiers. You can view the items in your possession by pressing start. Yep. So is that better than what we have by any chance? It is a fair bit better. Does uh, 13 attack instead of 9, so we might as well equip that. What is the unsigned sword? Without a name, a sword that can be found anywhere. Easy to get, but the blade is not that sharp. With as good of a swordsman as you are, you would think we would have some sort of banging sword, but I guess not. So, door is shut tight. We're not strong enough to open it. Maybe that's something we can come back to later, though. I guess time shall tell. Nah, I don't think so, man. You have to pry from my cold, dead hands. Oh, boss fight. Okay. Alright, so it looks like the blue bar up there that let us do the special move earlier, that kind of fills naturally as time goes on. I don't know if there's any sort of parry or anything like that. Or if you can just... Uh, I did see there that he kind of went through our defenses there for a second, though. So maybe there is some sort of parry type thing. And it looks like we can daze or stun enemies, so that's cool. Oh, we both kind of <laughs> attacked past each other there. Very, very nice. Good job, boss. Really show off our, our swordman skills attacking the air repeatedly. Okay, so is this our overworld map? Reminds me a lot of the Naruto game that we played a little while ago. The the overworld map thing here, at least.
Okay. We meet with the Silent One's master, I take it? ごぞうどりの方で安心いたしました。私の名はキイチ方言。また、この者が落とし子でございます。我らは玉入り人と呼ばれる一族、兵士を倒すために戦っております。この石は天鋼とと呼ばれるものでございます。天鋼。鍵
can earn an additional experience point by hitting enemies multiple times in succession or successfully performing Kamu. Kamui? Kamui? <laughs> okay, very cool. That's all I really need to know. There's a small road to the south of this house where you'll find a variety of stores. Perhaps you'd like to visit them? Sure. Why not? Can we go now or... Okay, yeah, it looks like we can. Oh, maybe not. Oh. I saw your fight earlier. There's a great amount of power asleep within you. We're talking to a stone. That's cool. <laughs> Release that power and confront the situation before you. So we have like a hidden power or whatever. Kind of standard for this sort of game, I feel like. Welcome, this is the world that extends within me. I shall teach you the art of using the Amahagane so that you will be equipped to handle upcoming difficulties. Power, that is Kamoi. By unleashing the power accumulated within the Amahagane, you will you can see through your enemies' attacks and find the precise timing for a counterattack. Now defeat the warriors in front of you by using Kamoi. When that is shining at the upper left side of the screen, it's possible to generate the enemies that react to Kamoi will close in on you to attack. Square will be shown near the foot of Yoshi. Uh, I'm just gonna call him Yoshi. Of Yoshi in sync with the enemy's attack. Press square to attack. If successful, you are able to counterattack effectively against enemy attacks. Very cool. When you are ready, press the L1 button. Okay, so now we're in the the special mode or whatever. Ah, that's cool. So we can do like uh, Harry's counterattacks. Very cool. And I'm assuming that does like extra damage and whatnot too, since all those guys went down in one hit. Although that may have just been because of uh, the little tutorial section thing that we're in, who knows. By using Kamoi, you can see through your opponent's attacks and deliver an effective counter attack. You shall obtain even greater divine protection if you defeat your foe. Use the power of Kamoi to overcome situations where you are faced with a strong enemy or when you are surrounded by many foes. Just remember, it cannot be used at all times. You can only harness the power when you have accumulated enough energy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You choose carefully when to use it. Use it to help complete your mission. End the tutorial and return to the normal world. Yes, please. I think we understand for the most part. Okay, so now we have a little bit of control over where we're going, huh? So we have the main road. We have the Gojo. Or we have the, the hut we were just in. Let's go back to the hut. Let's talk to the dude and whatnot before we leave in case... Like, he actually tells us anything interesting. I was thinking we could just literally walk down there, but... No, it doesn't appear like we can. Okay. Would you like to save... Oh, he just lets us save? At any point? Okay. Well, I guess that was kind of pointless then. <laughs> no reason to really come back to him then, but... Oh, well. Too late now. We'll leave again. And then just go down the main road... The main road, I'm guessing, is where all the shops and whatnot are that she was telling us about. It's got an exclamation point on it, so... Something important is going to happen here, I feel. Hey, lots of people playing. Very pretty world. I would love to see this world remade in a modern engine. Because while it looks nice, everything's very, you know, jaggedy, grainy. There's You just lose a lot of detail in it. But uh, the design, I feel like, is very nice. Come take a look. You've got great deals, everything you need. How about it, sir? What can I get you? We have 331. I don't know what the currency would be called. I don't know if it was yen. But welcome. What can I do for you today? Buy. What do you sell? You sell some herbs, some talisman of resurrection. So if we die, we come back? Yep. Stone of strength. Bestows its wear additional attack power. So that's something we can equip, I feel. And additional defense power. Very cool. We can also sell you the crap that we pick up for... Some amount of money. It doesn't seem to tell us how much money. Oh, we can also sell weapons and crap too, which, yeah. Very cool. I'm going to keep the unsigned sword. I don't know if we can ever do anything with it, but, uh, I, in, in some games, I know, like, the, the first sword that you get eventually can become the strongest sword in the game through, like, upgrade systems and stuff like that. I have no idea if that sort of thing's possible in this game, but I'm going to keep it around anyways, just in case. Oh, you're not from around here, are you? So, do you see anything you like? I'll give you a great price. Uh, you, you didn't show me your wares, lady. How am I supposed to buy anything? 
Great price. I won't sell you anything. Cool. Good, good, good day, noble sir. Oh, you're not a samurai. You confuse me with the way you're dressed. Sorry, I just like to be overly fanciful, I guess. Anything around here? Oh, we are... We are we're pulsing. That means we get some essence. We found some in a chest. Uh, I guess people just keep essence laying around in their chests all day. That seems fine. The Genji, who are defeated by the Heishi, are hiding out in various places, waiting for the opportunity to regroup. Who knows? There may be some of them around here. Uh, hint, hint. <laughs> Anything off in this corner? No, just, just some hay and some shovels. Old man in the stable. It seems that in Gojo, there is a monk attacking the Heishi at night, trying to defeat the Heishi. Who would attempt something so frightening? Oh, we got some herbs. Very cool. Uh, doesn't seem to be anything doing here. Weird that they added this room here. Since there's nothing to do there at all, but mm, whatever. I'm assuming because of that old lady's, uh, sly little, little thing there that we're gonna find another member here somewhere of the clan. Hey, Mr. Noodle, thank you for the five-bit cheer. I appreciate you, love. No, no, I am not. What can I do for you, sir? You were pursued by the Heishi and ended up here. You got separated from your sister near Gojo Bridge, and you have no idea what happened to her? I would be happy to help, if the game will let me. I beg of you, if you see her near the Gojo Bridge, please rescue her. Nah, I'm just gonna let her die. Of course I'll rescue her. Rescue her. Rescue her. I'm gonna rescue her. Rescue. Words are not my strong point, man. Oh, was that the... The exit of town. Well, could we go down that other road? I kind of wish it would give us like a little message or something before it uh, kicked us out of an area. Because I wanted to know if we can go down here if there's anything. And there is indeed. Friendly villager. The temple and houses of the Heishi are located on the other side of the Gojo Bridge. And many Heishi samurai live there. Many of them are violent. So you would stay away from there if you don't want to get hurt. <laughs> a mini stroke? No, I just can't talk. <laughs> Local gods must be enshrined in the small temple. Hey, more things. That should be enough now. Actually, that should be more than enough now to get a level up, right? So we can see how that works. Yeah, we have four essence. So we can level up our health, attack, or defense. I have no idea which ones are going to end up being the most important for us. But so far, it seems the attack is what I'm going to want, because we, we haven't had very much trouble with our health so far. Granted, we haven't fought very many people, but uh, yeah, getting some points in attack I think will be a good look for us. Let's check out what's in this building before we save and then go into the next area. This dude is a blacksmith, it looks like. Forge swords here, all the tools look well used. Very cool. Can you do upgrades for me by some chance? Battle gear on display, they look well maintained, or maybe you just sell... Uh, gear. Hmm, haven't seen your face around here before. You looking for weapons or armor? Ooh, you can special order stuff, too. An armor reinforced by applying thin metal to leather. Very cool. And we already have a iron sword. I appreciate that it shows you the difference between this and presumably whatever you have equipped. That is very nice. You want stronger gear? I suppose I can craft better weapons and armor for you, but I'll need the right materials. Unfortunately, I don't have the supplies right now, thanks to the Heishi. If you can get me the materials I need, I'll craft you some fine items, but I'll have to charge you extra for it, of course. Where can you find the right materials, you ask? Sometimes you'll stumble across some on the ground. You can also get them if you land powerful attacks on certain enemies. That makes no sense at all, but okay. Different items require different supplies, so collect as many items as you can. It looks like you don't have any supplies I need. Come back if you find some. Yeah, that's, that's fair. I have nothing right now. What is the celebrated iron sword? An extra three uh, attack because it's been forged by a master craftsman. Sharper than a regular sword of iron. That makes sense. Uh, yeah, we'll go ahead and buy one. We haven't bought anything yet. Uh, yeah, yeah. Equip the item. Cool. I appreciate that it includes that as well. And then can we sell our old one maybe? Will it tell us? Yeah, price 50. Young grass, an armor reinforced by applying blue lacquer to leather, would sell us for, or give it to us. Yeah, would give us 30. Uh, again, I think I'm going to go ahead and keep a hold of it. I don't know, again, if if there's any way to, like, upgrade. 
I see there's a crafting system through that guy now at least, but I don't know if we can upgrade the gear that we already have or not. But regardless, I'm going to go ahead and keep a hold of the stuff that we have uh, started with. Because, uh, I mean, worst case scenario, I'm just wasting my time keeping it in the, or an equipment slot, I guess, keeping it there. Best case scenario, we can do something neat with it later on. Why not? Keep it around for now. Oh, oh, oh we're in a fight. Okay, <laughs> sorry, didn't realize we were in a fight. Oh, jeez. I was just talking about how we, we weren't taking very many hits, and then, <laughs> now nah, we're just taking hits left and right. There doesn't appear to be any dodge or anything like that. That I can see, at least. It's just attacking and blocking. Very nice. Ooh, these guys got, uh, long pokey sticks. So presumably they'll attack from farther away. Yeah, okay. Cool, I guess deal with them all the same though so that was just like a random encounter on the road or was that just something leading into this area is that the lady that we're supposed to be saving maybe that dude's sister that looks like a boss if i've ever seen one <laughs> Yeah, no, I think I'm good. I don't know who you are. All I know about you is you're big and buff. And you'll probably have a big health bar. <laughs> Alright, well, he gave us a name, but to be honest, I don't really care. I ain't worried about whatever your name is. You're dead. Oh, ah, we screwed it up. Oh, man, okay. Can we can we even block this guy's attacks? Yeah, we can. Okay. Somewhat. And we still take some damage, it looks like, even while we're blocking. Just lesser degree. So. Oh, man, okay. Alright, let's try this again. We got this. Get him. Can we do the same to you? We can, but the, the timing on that was very tight. Oh, man. We might actually die. <laughs> what is this? Is this a little bit of health over here? It is. Um, we have items that we can use, too. We should probably uh, try that out. Okay. So, it seems like the, the, the two little lackeys are going to infinitely spawn. So, we should probably just kind of ignore them and just keep going for the big dude. Man. He is something else. They able to break through our defense. Alright, we got this this time. Just gotta just gotta pay attention. Watch our feet. We don't have the same sort of uh leeway with it. Like we do other people. A broken piece of Ho Goblin's gauntlet cannot be used as is, can be used for creating a new item. If you take it to the weapon shop, you can combine it with other materials to create stronger weapons. Very cool. So I wonder, if we had come here without going down the main road, if we had gone the side way, would we have gotten this fight at all? Or... There we go, back now was having connection issues. Ah, sorry to hear that, man. Glad you made it back, though. Yes, I do. How do you just know I'm Genji? Like, is there nobody else in the world that could use these abilities? What? They got, like, some telepathic abilities or something? Oh, dude, they can just teleport around? That's the ability I need, man. Screw traveling by foot. Or by horseback, maybe? Just freaking have a random star appear in the sky and let me uh, <laughs> teleport to and fro. That sounds better. Chio, that was her name. Ah, uh, you're welcome. 
You can just give me an item or some money or nothing at all. I mean, I got experience points and story. That's all. That's all we're really here for, right? Smooth street salesman. Hey, by the way, Minazuru was looking for you. She was worried. I wonder if something is wrong. By the way, would you like to buy something? We have new items for sale, you know. Uh, what do you got? Stone of Samurai is the new one. The stone bestows its wear additional attack and defense power. Very cool, but now nah, I'm good. Yeah. Thank you for saving my sister. Just can't thank you enough. So, is the world different during the day and night? It looks like it. But I don't think we have any control over... Like, what time of day it is. As far as I know, there's no, like, weight ability or anything like that. Or command. Well, there's the tyranny of the Heishi or the rumors about the monstrous monk of Gojo. Kyoto has become a frightening place these days. You should stop hanging around and go home. Oh, wait. There's another little uh, area down here that we didn't see last time. Or at least I didn't see last time with a boat. A beautiful river flows before me. There must be some good fish to catch here. I imagine we'll be able to use that at some point. I don't know why else it would be there. And we can probably go up here and talk to the blacksmith dude. It's amazing that a person who could defeat the Shoki, Hogoblin, exists. What a surprise. But since he is well known for holding grudges, you had better be careful. Eh, yeah, I'm not worried about him. It wasn't that big of a deal, you know? Only almost killed us three times or whatever. Yeah, let's go ahead and do a quick save. And it's been roughly a half hour, so why don't we go ahead and throw on a quick ad break while we just uh, stretch, get a drink, disable the pre-roll ads, and all of that. And then we will be right back with more of the game, yeah? They stick yet yes. Yes, I have. I guess I gotta pull it out first. Would play a rather large part in helping okay, you gotta go in the circle and then press whatever oh, item button. I've discovered that caramel is quite good for eating, but not so good for um standing in. Now let's find Who would have guessed? I'm sure he knows where to find some honey. I don't know, man. Isn't it Rabbit's fault that you kind of got stuck in the first place? Do you really think you should be taking more Come advice from, now, from him? Follow me. I'm thinking maybe not. I don't know. Can I go in the caramel? No. no I can't. So, I mean, like, is Pooh going to go eat all that cotton candy? Is that how we going to get through that other area? Because we were kind of blocked off from going anywhere else, right? Whenever we were over here looking at stuff earlier. But now that we got poo, maybe he can just, like, chug all that stuff down. What are you wowing, Mr. Noodle? Wow. <laughs> I don't know what that was about. Find some honey. Oh, brother. Piglet, there seems to be some cotton candy blocking the door. However, shall we get through? Eat it. Think, think. Eat I it. Do believe I've seen this cake before. Just take that and if put it in your mouth. Is here, then rabbit must be over there. Will he be able to help us find? All right, all stretched out, a little bit better hydrated now. Let's get back into it, shall we? I didn't do anything, just saved. I didn't want anybody to miss any of the action there during the short break. Uh, what does this guy want to tell us now? Oh, hey, sir, a girl named whatever was looking for you. She just left. Do you know her? Yeah, by the way, we have some new items for sale. Why don't you have a look? Yes, the special order. We can make the Ho Goblins Gauntlet. What do you want to make? What else do we need? You're showing it to us, but we can't do anything with it. We could buy the celebrated iron sword. We have enough money now, but I think we'll wait on that one a little bit. Made of laminated leather hardened with red lacquer imbued with fire resistance. Very cool. I could see how that could come in handy. Just leaving like that? Well, I didn't just randomly up and leave now, did I? I made sure to let everybody know what was going on, Mr. Noodle. You're just being complicated. <laughs> 
Um, so it seems like the special materials that we pick up is not anything we have to sell to him or give to him or anything like that. Just talking to him there seems to be enough with it. But alright, so we'll go back up to the... Whatchamacallit now. To, to the hut up here. And uh, talk to... I forget her name already. But talk to her since she has something to tell us apparently. And the got a uh, explanation mark up here. So obviously there's some more story to be had. Is she out back? Nope, but he is. The mysterious uh, quiet one. Heard rumors about someone connected with the Genji and a mysterious monk. It seems that something is happening in Gojo. Well, I would love to go there and check it out. But uh, I was told to come here and talk to her. Wherever her is. By the way, it's been looking for you. She's already gone to bed, but it seems she had something to tell you. Some information from Otohiko. Apparently, he heard that someone connected to the Genji appears at night in Gojo. Perhaps you can ask him about it later. Would you like to save your game? No. Okay, so I guess we can't really do anything here until the next day, morning or whatever. Oh, wait, no. She came and found us. How useful. I have. Well, okay. Maybe not. I thought you were talking about the monk. Yeah. I've heard of the monk. Yeah, but if he bears a strong hatred for the Keishi, then why should we be worried about him, right? That's our goal, too. We're both trying to take down the same guys. Why should I be worried about him? We can team up with him, man. We can be comrades. Let's go. <laughs> go straight to Gojo, man. I want to talk to this guy. Now, I feel like he's probably going to think we're one of them and attack us or something. Uh, looks like maybe the monk has already come through here as well. Why are you acting so surprised? You were just here murdering people not all that long ago. His eyes are closed and he's not budging. Yeah. Someone beat him up pretty badly. Yep, yep. So, he appears on the bridge, right? We're on the bridge. Do we just leave town? No, okay. <laughs> I think we found the monk. Benki? Benkai? I'm not Eishi. Yeah, if you would let us talk for a moment, you would uh, you would know that I too am part of the same clan. In fact, my father was kind of the ruler of said clan. But, uh, somebody just refuses to listen, and, man, my timing is terrible. I'm gonna partially blame that on, uh, OBS, but... <laughs> okay, so, he, he can do powerful attacks that kind of break through our guard. So, we don't want to guard too much. And they still hurt like a mother, too, but... Ah, man! All right, if we screw this up, though, we're dead. So do not screw this up. Good job. <laughs> well, at least we didn't actually die. So, yet. Oh, man, we're definitely going to die, though. You are one powerful dude, you know that? Do I have any other items? I don't think I currently do. I guess maybe, like, there's no dodge, but we might be able to jump out of the way of certain attacks. It's kind of hard to tell which ones we can and can't, though, or could or couldn't. Okay, try this again. Come on. Watch our feet. Man! The timing on that is something else. And we are out of heals. I think, I think we lost our first fight, boys. <laughs> it's 
especially since this dude is going Super Saiyan on us over here. Yep. <laughs> All right. So much tougher boss than the other ones. Of course, if my timing wasn't so bad, that would help. I'm going to go ahead and switch out of OBS for myself. Switch over to the main game. Uh, you may restart the game from the place last saved with experience level at the time of death. Continue, yes. Um, it'll only marginally help the... The, uh... Whatchamacallit? The input lag and whatnot, but... It'll be better than what it was, at least. Which, uh, in this game, apparently, is going to be a little important. It doesn't look like you necessarily have to use the... Whatchamacallit ability? The, the Kumai, or, or whatever the heck it was called. But it certainly doesn't hurt. Okay, so I think we need to talk to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Something that she wanted to tell us. Some information. Yep, we know all this. It doesn't seem like I can skip it, though. No, not worried about saving. Hopefully we don't die again. And then now she should appear, right? There we go. Ah, we can't skip that, though. Very cool. Alright, go back down to Gojo and try that again, shall we? Hopefully this time we do just a little bit better. Ah, I didn't mean to use that. That was... That was dumb. So now I won't be able to use that right away. But I, since we're here, though, I can explore this other area. Nope. Okay, that just takes us out of town. <laughs> I do really wish that there was some sort of indicator. Even if it was just like a little pop-up at the bottom of the screen. Like, hey, you're about to exit the area. Or, or you're about to go to this area. Or something along those lines would be very handy. Instead of it just instantly taking you out and, and, and loading up the next section. All right, well, we don't have our little ability there, so. We're just going to have to kind of d gain it back a bit. It seems like, too, kind of the, the thing to do is to guard, but while you're guarding, kind of walk around to the side. Um... Ah, too early. That was completely on me. I tried to anticipate it and uh, hit it too early. I got nervous waiting for it to happen. So yeah, we know where he's about to, to attack, but because he can break our defense so well, it seems like, yeah, maybe we should guard but also walk to the side. Because once he gets into a combo, he can't really readjust himself, right? Okay, watch our feet. There we go. Very nice. That's what we wanted to do. Still some difficult timing, to be honest, but... My Eishi. As I was trying to tell you before you so rudely attacked me. So do we get a fight as him or does he join our party, I wonder, or... Oh, okay, I'm looking at the back of the box. And it, it literally says, battle is two heroic warriors in this Japanese tale. Cool. So we get a switch between the two of them, maybe? Whether it's automatic or we get to choose, I have no idea, but... Very cool. So the, the little guy, Genji, uh, the direct descendant, Genji, since I guess that's not actually our name. He seems like your your fast, swift, going for, for hits sort of character. The other dude is kind of your tanky style character, I'm assuming. Right? More about standing in place, standing your guard and defending, and then getting real big hits off. Also, what the hell was that? <laughs> Suddenly, monsters? Yep. Not like I really had a choice, but yep. 
Ah, you're so sweet, old man. So you guys didn't create them, but basically are the ones that gifted them to the world. Can you like fuse them together? Is that what she's doing? Very cool. I'm surprised the the Heishi aren't like here knocking on your door all the time. <laughs> like, with as powerful as a clan as they seem to be, you'd think they would be trying to destroy them the same way they did the Genji clan. Yeah. あの、もう、よしつねぞろとは違った力を持ったアマハガネ財と見受けしました。大家二人の力でアマハガネを集め、剣士を倒してください。そうだ、つなぐ。あ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ、これ
should we die to whatever these beasts are that we uh are probably going to be taking down do not push yourself too hard uh don't tell me what to do <laughs> yes okay so would you like me to go yeah i understand you can count on me so okay yeah 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 so we we trade back and forth between the two very cool and presumably at the same level so he has 420 health nice uh, attack of 71 defense of 45 very cool uh got some key items it looks like all the items kind of transfer over but he has different weapons and armor so he can't use the iron sword can he no okay only yoshi can use those so maybe only the red ones he can use and only the blue ones yoshi can use i guess that makes sense he's got some crimson armor very cool no accessories and all of the Amahagane levels do appear to be separate, but the essence I'm assuming is shared. I can't say for sure. I didn't mean to put it there. I kind of wish I could take it out, but it's too late now. Um, What's his level? His level is four. If we switch back to the other guys, is level going to be four too, or are the levels actually shared between them? I'm pretty sure I would probably prefer playing as Yoshi. He's level four as well. Um... Yoshi is more or less how I usually prefer to play games with with people that are a little bit faster But I don't know I wonder if there's any reason in going back to any of the areas that we've been to before Besides like the main road obviously we can go to shops and whatnot But like Gojo for instance, is there any reason to go back there unless the story dictates it? I don't know Yeah, you might want to get out of there, kids. There's something in them, their trees. And it does not sound nice. Yo. Uh, <laughs> bruh. I didn't expect that to happen. Yoshi, you're too late, man. You could have saved those poor kids. Damn, boy. Alright, here's a sturdy bronze lantern. Should be able to use this as a foothold. Oh. Okay, so we can jump up there to jump up here. So, I mean, I what I'm figuring out here is that this game is basically just... Um... Oh, crap. What's that game called, man? <laughs> ah, the the Souls-like game. Ah, I can't believe I can't remember the name of it. That's going to bother the crap out of me. But uh, I just remember in some of the marketing material and whatnot, seeing people jump up and down buildings and things. An herb that is secretly, secretly grown by the Tengu recovers health by 150, so a more powerful healing herb. Very nice. Can we actually go in here? No. Alright, well it doesn't appear as if there's anything else to do up here. So we'll go maybe actually through the doors. We'll be nice guests, you know. I say as we just randomly smash their pots. Potion, which provides mystical protection. Defense power is increased temporarily. Very cool. Oh, and some, uh, some dudes with... I they look like uh <laughs> they look like wicks for bombs or something on their heads. <laughs> Whenever I first saw them, man, I was like, are they gonna blow up if I hit them? But no, no, we're okay, we're okay. They're not they're not they're not bombers. They just have some oddly pokey heads. I'm wanting to use the Kumai thing that we that we got, the new double one, but I also don't wanna waste it. I don't know how often boss fights happen in this game, but at least so far, it's been fairly common. Oh. Alright, screw it. Let's use it. There's a bunch of dudes here. We can use it again. 
Oh, and we still screwed it up. Good job. <laughs> I can't tell if that was temporary, the, the extra slowdown, or if it was permanent, but either way, I guess it doesn't matter. We screwed it up. <laughs> GG us. We did, we did good. Uh, what is that? Oh, that's just money. Okay, cool. 100 gold. I thought I felt it pulsing at some point. Yeah, see, I can see it pulsing. Do we... I want it. I can, I can feel it pulsing. I can see the thing pulsing up there. But I can't figure out how to trigger this one. Do we just stand? No, that's not doing anything. Going along the wall. It definitely appears to be in this corner. Uh, jumping up doesn't do anything. I don't know. I think we're going to have to forget about that one. I don't know how to get it. I'm sure there's some way to do it, but... Or maybe, maybe we'll wrap around here. As we continue to explore this massive house. Is it a house, or is this meant to be a town? I'm assuming this is the entrance to some large home, or temple maybe, but... But I don't know, I guess it could be somebody's home, I don't know. Getting that master rank, boy. Sword master now. Before we were just a general master, but now we're a sword master. <laughs> also, I feel it pulsing a bunch around here, too. Hey, there we go. Okay, we got the essence that time, though. Some more potions and things. Always nice. Can we open these doors, or do we just have to jump? Oh, we... Okay. Yep, we just teleported through. That's all. That'll work. I'm half expecting people to come through these doors whenever I, I knock or do whatever it is I'm about to do. Just teleport through again. What is this? Mysterious carvings on the wall with an inscription in the middle that says, Return to this place upon completion and the door to another dimension shall open. Oh, so that's like some cool endgame content. Once we beat the game, we can come back there and then do more fun stuff. Suspicious looking statue of Buddha is enshrined. This is what the Heishi worship. Oh, okay, they're all just gonna say the same thing. It's pulsing. It's pulsing hard. There it is. Essence of Amahogane. Very cool. Uh, that should give us enough to level up now, and that should also show us... Okay, yeah, so the essence does seem to be separate. Because with the other dude, we accidentally put it in health. And uh, in this dude, it's not here in the health. So we can go ahead and just level up our attack again, I think. And then maybe we'll uh, even out a little bit with health and defense. Because we have been taking a few hits here and there. You can save your game or retreat from this point. What would you like to do? So retreating, I'm assuming, is just like a fast travel type of system. Take us back to the, the base hut thing quickly? Question mark? I'm assuming that's how that works. But now we're just going to save because we are going to try to get through this mission. Go around the edge here. Go around back first. I'm assuming up the stairs. Oh, there's another set of stairs over here. So many options on directions to go. I don't know where to go. Uh, Y'all are going to die. I hope you know this. Very nice. We got a, another piece of essence, too. So do they just appear randomly, or it, I, is it scripted, I wonder? The the essence drops that we're getting. Like, were we guaranteed to get one for killing that dude, or did we just get lucky and pick one up? Ooh. That was cool. I don't know why we got that kind of bullet Tommy effect there. We didn't do anything special, I don't think, but very cool nonetheless. Another door we can go through, maybe. Door is a little rickety, but you don't think you're strong enough to open it. Uh, so I wonder then if we had come here with... Uh, what was his name? Benji? Whatever his name is. I wonder if he could have opened that door. Because he thinks he isn't strong enough to open it. But the other dude... I mean, he's seven foot tall tank. Like, if anybody can open it, I assume it would be him. 
guess that's something to try out. And that'd be a cool way, too, to kind of make it a little more unique when playing with each of the characters, right? Having areas only one or the other can get to. Because I'm assuming Benki or, or whatever his name was isn't able to kind of do the same sort of jumps like we are. So maybe we can jump and climb things to get to, to special areas while, while Benki can use his superior might to open doors that we cannot. Very cool, okay. Uh, this is looking more and more temple-y by the moment. I'm assuming that's where we actually need to go. Since there's the save point there, I want to explore just a little bit more first, though. Like, what is this door? Can we open it? Looks like there's a special seal on the door. I can just barely make out the word amber. Hmm. Okay. Ah, carp swimming peacefully in the pond. How sweet. It's an old belfry. A building of this height should prove to be a good foothold. Are you telling me that I should climb up it? Because I gladly will, maybe. <laughs> I Maybe. There we are. Give us, give us the thing. Give us, give us the thing. We're standing here. We're attacking. We're pressing the buttons. Give, give it, give it to us. I don't know how to trigger to make it give it to us. Like, it's vibrating like crazy, so I would think it would give it to us here. Do we have to... Uh, okay, well, we can fight these dudes up on the rooftops, I guess. Very cool. But not really what my goal was. My goal was just to get more of that essence. Oh, nice. Got another level up. All the level ups seem to be automatic, though, so really nothing for us to do. Can we jump over to the next side from here? Yes, we can. Explore all the roofs. Oh, hold on. Can we go in here? We can. Found a secret back door into whatever this place is. Get some stuff, a little bit of gold. Always useful. A chest, surely with something nice in it. Foxfire, Yoshi's weapon. Sword with a fire attribute. Burns the flesh of its victims, leading to a portable demise. That is that is terrible. But, uh, I mean, hey, if it's more powerful, then it's more powerful. Let's, uh... <laughs> there we go. Oh, look at that. It even adds a nice little flaming effect to our swords. That's always nice. Whenever your equipment is reflected in the, the character models and things. I like that. Nice little touch. Alright, doesn't seem like there's too much more to explore up here. Ooh. Again, I don't know what the heck just happened. Like, how did that bullet time thing happen there? And then we just, like, killed both of them in one fell swoop like that. I don't know what that... What that is or what triggers that, but... I like it. Oh, and now since our swords are flaming, can we uh can we light this? That'd be a cute thing. Kind of like Zelda style? No. Nope. None of that stuff. Okay. Um. It's nothing to do here that I can see. Although there are some pots, and you can't leave a pot unbroken. That would just be rude. Can we climb from here? We cannot. All right, I want to get the stupid essence piece from over here. That's what I want to do. But the game seems hell-bent on not letting me do it. You gotta get, you don't have like much momentum once you're in the air. So you kind of gotta start the running first. Ooh, nice. I like the special attack with this one, the little swirly swirl there. Okay, I'm not doing anything. I thought maybe you just had to like go to the right area and stand there for a moment or something, but we're running like all over the place. And I don't know. I don't know. We're not going to spend all day on it though. We are going to go ahead and go into the temple down here and save the game. And then move on over to Lord of the Rings, I think. Because we, uh, we got a little bit of a late start today. 
but I still want to do both games, both series. Oh, uh, also while I'm thinking about it, just a little bit of a heads up for everybody. The plan going forward for Sundays, normally on Sundays, oh cool, we got another essence piece, so I think maybe that is a uh, guaranteed spawn there. Which if that's the case, you could just kind of grind them out. Farm them a little bit. But anyways, as I was saying, the plan going forward for Sunday, since normally I do one of the PS2 Gauntlet games, and then I do whatever game I'm currently beating, which of course right now is Lord of the Rings, I, uh, I want to spend a little bit more time beating the games. Uh, so on Sundays, instead, what I'm going to do going forward is just play whatever game I'm beating. So Lord of the Rings, uh, Ratchet and Clank, Kingdom Hearts, God of War, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Whatever game it is that I'm currently spending time trying to beat, that's what I'm going to be doing on Sundays for you know three to four hours every Sunday instead of splitting the time between the two. But no worries, I will still be doing PlayStation 2 Gauntlet stuff the rest of the time. All of the other nights that I stream, which is usually about uh, two to four nights a week, uh, you know, averaging out right around three nights a week. I will still be playing random PS2 games so we can get a bit of a feel for them, see how we like them and all that. But again, for this specific PlayStation 2 Gauntlet episode, that's going to be all we have time for. And for anybody on stream, we will be right back after this short break with Lord of the Rings The Third Age. What shall we get through this cotton candy? Eat it. I suppose we could eat it. There you go. There's much too much to eat. No. Yes. Shut up. Of course you're right, Pete. Just but eat it. Shall we get to the other side then? Fine. We'll have to use our brains. <laughs> Squirt it. Squirt it with some water. Come here, Pooh. I need you to hit this switch for me. Oh, I don't have any items anymore. Can I, like, tell Pooh what to do? Oh, wait. Search for cookies? Hey, we got some cookies. Yeah, give them here. All of them. No, don't go away. Trash. Come back. They're my cookies, and I want them. No, pick it up. Pick it up. I didn't know we could search random objects. There was, what, 125 cookies or something? So is that the only thing our kick is used for? We're not, like, fighting off enemies or anything. We just gotta we just gotta kick stuff to get them cookies, man. I didn't realize that's where cookies came from. I thought you had to, like, cook them or something. I guess you could just go around kicking shit and picking them up. Pooh, I need you to press this button for me because I am too small. There must be a way to get through this cotton candy. Perhaps Owl will know what to do. Oh, of course. Go talk to Al. Al can press the button for me. <laughs> I just want someone to press the button, please. Al, you're not useless, right? Well, if it isn't my dear friend Piglet, and I do believe you're looking for a way to get rid of some cotton candy. Uh, yes. Let's see. The weight multiplied by the mass squared uh, uh, divided by the height of the cotton candy. Yes. Uh, uh, minus so 